Here we have an exponential equation, and we do need to know how to read these in order to understand what's going on. Uh, if you use the formula that I use, the open formula, we kind of have something like O times one plus P, in this case, to the T equals N. So there's a little bit of a change here. Um, we see that the T portion is a little weird, right? There's some other number in there that doesn't fit into my formula, but that's okay, because if I understand the basics of the formula, which is what I just wrote down, then when they start to make these changes, I'm okay. The key piece is that the two corresponds to like the percentage increase. So when they say it doubles, or they're, when they're asking if it doubles, uh, basically that's what the two is representing, is it's a doubling, and that's because you are increasing by another 100%. So to double something is to increase it by 100%. So that's where we get the two from, based on my formula. Now, I know the answer is just gonna be 410, because I'm able to then be like, okay, well, what number, if I plugged it in for t, right, if for the time, is going to kind of cause this thing to show a doubling? And if I had 410 over 410 up here, right, 410 over 410 is just one. So the, if the exponent were 1, then I would be multiplying 60,000 times 2 to the first, or 60,000 times 2, doubling it to 120,000. And the reason I know that that's what I am like kind of want to happen is the other part of my open formula tells me that the 60,000 is the O, or the original number. So it doesn't explicitly say that there are 60,000, but again, you need to kind of understand the basic exponential setup so that you can read what the story is telling you based on the equation, even if they don't explicitly say. They are telling you through this equation that there are 60,000 bacteria, and then we want to get to 120,000, doubling it. If you were, you know, if you thought it was 410, but were 100% sure, it's very easy for you to check. Just plug that number in and actually do the work. So 60,000, times 2 times 410 over 410. You could just do that in your calculator. 410 over 410, I said, is 1. 2 to the first is 2. 2 times 60,000 is 120,000. That's our new value. Um, but you really want to be comfortable with exponential equations, especially in this format. They are going to ask about it. They're going to ask about it even more when we get to the hard section. This is just a very common SAT topic, so it's not like you want to kind of feel lost on these. You want to look at that equation and instantly be able to be like, oh, 60,000 is the starting point, the 2 tells me we're doubling, and if I had 410 in that top exponent, it would kind of make, it would mean one interval has passed, one doubling has happened. Those are all things you want to be able to get quickly so you can spend more time on the stuff that doesn't fit a nice, easy, repetitive formula.